So at the Samsung booth, tucked under this signage, it says Hewlett 8K, something distinctly different. It's the Odyssey G9. This is not a 4K or an 8K TV. This is potentially the best gaming model monitor in the world. A 1000 hour curved screen. Look at that gigantic curve, guys. That practically wraps around your head. It's an update from last line, uh, last last year's CRG 90. The G9 is a simpler nomenclature, and it tells you this is all about gaming. They realized that they were onto something. They've even completely redesigned the aesthetic of it. Yes, they have LEDs, RGBs. It is totally gamified. Either you like it or you don't. I think it actually looks really, really good. It looks like something from the future, and I think that's totally awesome. This is still going to be your ultra-wide uh, with, I think it's 50, oh, they're going to show you right here. It's dual 2560 by 1440, so 15, 5120 by 1440. Two 27-inch monitors side-by-side, -side, but curved to the extreme. I love this curve. Oh, wow. I think just about anyone would love to have this. Also, HDR 1000. It has everything, guys. Uh, I, and I believe it is still capped at 120 hertz. They're not talking about it here, but I'm pretty sure this is still 120. Wait a minute. What did I just see? 240 hertz. They are pushing the limits. 240 hertz is pretty amazing. Last year's it was capped at 120. So this is a huge, huge spec bump and a huge, huge styling bump for the 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 trans the. The transformation from a Ho-Hum CRG90, which was already a really sweet monitor, to the G9, they are serious. They are serious about dominating the gaming market. They were actually taken by surprise. I talked to some Samsung, Samsung execs and they said, you know, we didn't realize how excited people would be about our gaming monitors. We were a little late to the market. Yeah, yeah, they were late to the market. I don't understand why they didn't know it was going to be a good market, but the G9 is their tour de force. Uh, I would say easily the best monitor from anyone in the world. Uh, so look for it. It's gonna be expensive and it's not available yet, but when it hits the market, you can expect it to sell very, very well. I would I would guess Q3 2020 for this monitor. Any questions, post them down below. If you like this, uh, this video, please do like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot and I will catch you soon.